Huh? Look what I found. A bullet huh? and three snails. A what? A bullet. Oh, weird. Let's see that. Yeah. You just found this in the sand? Yeah. It's weird. It looks like it's... I don't know, a 380 or a 38 special. Let me take it over in the light. We can try to read the bottom of it and see. So this is the U.S. Divers brand uh, Hydro Air Easy Breathe Snorkel System, as you see there. I just picked this up at Walmart for like $38 with tax. And uh, as you see with the picture there, it's like a full facial mask. Um, system for, for uh, snorkeling. It looks like that right there. So the snorkel kind of fits onto it and you know I guess in theory there's not like a nose piece or anything. So I saw it, I thought I was really intrigued by it and I'm gonna try it out here today. See how it goes. And uh, I'm here at Blue Spring Park in Mariana, Florida. So I'm gonna do some snorkeling out here and see how it goes. I'm gonna try this thing on for the very first time. Uh, it comes with this snorkel is actually unattached and you just snap it on. I can't take it off for some reason now, but it has a little ball in there and then creates like the one-way valve, I guess. I don't know. This is it. I don't know if you can hear me or not. It's pretty ridiculous looking. But I can actually breathe through it. It's got a one-way valve right here. So you can see the one-way valve. So I think it's adjustable. Down here, there's straps so you can make it adjustable, but it's kind of like wearing like a gas mask or something. It looks pretty ridiculous. But I'm gonna take it in the water and try it out now. I'm gonna do a backflip. Cause you did one. So it's gonna be really cold. I hate cold water. There goes nothing. Oh gosh. Who won is better? It's hard to swim with one hand. So I'm gonna top the camera. That's cold. That's so cool. I wanna show you guys. So this is me just kind of swimming around with it, testing out the, uh, the full face mask here. Um, just kind of getting the hang of it a little bit, swimming around the shallow parts here, looking at the fish and the rocks and things. Um, I, I'm going to go under here in a second. The cool thing about this face mask is that it doesn't, um, when you exhale, it blows out of the side vents on this mask. So you don't have to clear your snorkel of water when you come up for air. You see right there, 
where I exhaled on those bubble, the air bubbles come up next to my face there. So you don't have to clear your snorkel, which is typically a big pain when you're snorkeling. And there's always a little bit of water left in there that you inadvertently kind of breathe in. So this is really cool because it has that little one-way valve in the snorkel. It doesn't let any water in. Yeah, it works pretty well. And it's kind of weird because when you're breathing out, the majority of the air doesn't come out of the top of the snorkel. It actually comes out through this one-way valve right here. And so the bubbles are actually kind of coming up around the side of your face and not through here. But when you take in air, obviously it comes in through here. So when you exhale, it comes out of here. But when you inhale, it comes in through here. But it works pretty well. You have definitely a, a bigger uh, line of sight, more vision, um, periphery, peripheral vision. Sorry, it's so cold, I can't talk. But yeah, I think it might be worth it. Might be worth the money. I'm gonna try it out some more throughout the day, though. You just found this in the sand? Yeah. It's weird. It looks like it's, I don't know, a 380 or a 38 special. Let me take it over in the light. We can try to read the bottom of it and see. So here's the bullet that Noah found over in the sand at the swimming beach. It says UMC, can't quite make out the other part. Mike is behind you. I think it says 38. I think that's a 38. Yeah, yeah. You guys can comment down below if you know what it is. It's just so warped and weathered. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like it's... Yeah, Looks like it's a misfire. It's a little dimple in there. Looks like he found some shells as well. Did you have fun today? Mm-hmm. It's good. So I'm here uh, right at the Florida Alabama state line and I'm getting some boiled pea dash nuts. Hope you guys enjoyed watching the uh, footage of us swimming around in the creek, or I'm sorry, in the spring, um, down in Blue Spring. We're back home now, and uh, I've got this mask here. Um, you know, I will say the only thing negative I have to say about this thing is the fact that this clips in right here. And I don't know if I can get the camera to focus on it, but do you see how there's like these little tabs that poke out of the sides are right there? Once that clips down on there, which I'm not going to do right now because it's kind of a pain to get those things off and to be able to store it back in the bag in which it came. You have to get something like a pocket knife and poke it down in there and release those clips in order for you to remove the snorkel part and then you can store it back in the bag. But um, overall, I think this was worth the money. The biggest downside to the whole thing is the fact that you look like a clown. But other than that, I mean, I liked it. Like I said, the peripheral vision was amazing on it. And if you're ever in the Keys or anything like that, or you know, Bahamas and you're snorkeling through some kind of coral reef, this thing would be amazing. And actually, I was wrong. When you exhale, the air actually comes out of these side ports right here, kind of about where your ears are at. Um, that way it doesn't, it doesn't cloud up your field of vision. So I was wrong about that. I just want to correct that. But yeah, I think it's well worth the $37, $38 I paid for it at the local Walmart. So check it out if you want one. Uh, I 
be worth it, especially if you do this quite often. Thanks guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe and like this video if I deserved it. It only takes a second, so I really appreciate it.